today's episode, I want to talk about how to make your acoustic guitar sound wider and fuller in a mix. I've got two tracks here. The first one is just a straight playthrough of the entire song um, using an SM57. And I've got a second track here, which I've called Guitar Wide. And I want you guys to take a listen here. So let's deconstruct this mix. The first trick I like to use is to create a new track with a pitch shifter on it. In this case, I've got Rhea Pitch, which is Reaper's native pitch VST. So in this case, I've got the signal from the main guitar feeding into this track here. And what I'll do is I'll create two of these tabs and you can add shifters and delete shifters. So I've got two shifters here. And what I'll do is I will change each of these by a couple of cents to the left and to the right. So in this case, it's uh, under tuned by about negative two cents. So it's a very minor change here. And then on the second one here, I've, I've got a change of one cent, so positive one. And let's hear what that sounds like by itself. Change the settings so you guys can hear the difference. The further I get away from the center, the more apparent the effect becomes. So I like this to be a little closer to the center because once you start getting away from the center, it starts to get a little too crazy and I don't want that crazy effect. Um, I do want a little subtleness to it. So with that being said, when I try to mix this into the, uh, the track, you can hear how it changes the modulation of the, tr of the sound. So let's hear what that sounds like as I bring the fader up. I've adjusted it to taste and I kind of like it there and I like what it does to the sound. Let's move on to the next trick. Trick number two is to create a second track where you're playing the same exact thing and just process it differently. So in this case, we've got our main guitar, which is treated pretty dry. And we've got a second track called Guitar Wide where I'm playing the same exact thing, but this time I've made it wider. So what would it sound like if we didn't have this track? Let's lower the fader to zero. So on the second track, I have pretty much compressed it and I've got this, these two compressors which are tamping down the dynamics and then I've got this wider plugin. And what this wider plugin does is just basically an imager. You can check out our video for the other images that we reviewed and showed you how to work with. But for this song, I thought that this imager was perfect for this track. So we've got our imager and we've got a quick EQ that's just kind of cutting down the low mids and the lows and we've got a limiter just to make sure that we are not allowing any of those crazy dynamics to poke through that would clip our mix so in comparison let's hear what the verse would sound like versus this chorus and why this matters so much when it comes to creating some more dynamics in your mix here is a part of the verse <laughs> jump into the chorus. So as soon as that chorus hits, everything gets bigger and wider and you kind of want that when you want to create that high energy sound. 
The last trick we have for you guys today is to create a new track where you have some sort of reverb. In this case, I've got IRL by Waves, and you can take your guitar track and bust it straight to it. And let's hear what that sounds like by itself. So what this plugin is doing is basically it's adding a lot of space. It's important to set your pre-delay here. I've got mine set to 107 milliseconds. So that means after 107 milliseconds, you'll start to hear the reverb compared to the original sound. And what that does, it allows the space for clarity. You'll hear the original and then 107 milliseconds later, you'll hear the uh, reverb. And you can also go ahead and start to EQ that reverb, start cutting off the lows, and maybe some mids around 500-ish. Of course, you can play around with that. Let's listen to that while we bring up the fader. So there you have it guys, three tricks to make your acoustic guitar sound wider and fuller in a mix. If you guys like what you heard and saw here, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button for the algo, and uh, catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>